Okay, so for the next item, we're going to have the Japanese seafood soup curry. Put it here. Okay, so Emmy, tell us a bit about Japanese curry in Japan. How do people eat it? Is it very popular back there? Huh? This uh, Japanese curry is not really like um, Chinese curry. Chinese curry is uh, quite watery, but Japanese curry is not too watery, it's a bit thick. In Japan, right, for example, like parents, they usually when they're busy working the next day, they would actually cook curry the night before and they have it for dinner and the next day they can uh, leave it for their kids to come home from school or meet up and eat it because Japanese curry do not have coconut milk in it, so it will not spoil and in and moreover, it gets like more flavorful the next day after you leave it overnight. Now, what we're going to have is prepared by the recipe is from a celebrity chef in Japan called Yoshimi. Apparently, he's very famous for this seafood Japanese soup curry. Let's try it. Created by celebrity chef Katsuyama Yoshimi. This recipe combines Asian curry with Hokkaido grown potatoes, pumpkins, corns, and asparagus, and other vegetables. The Japanese um, the egg, right? It's always uh, soft and moist in the center. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a way of cooking it. The Japanese style. Yeah, cooking there's a it. technique of making it uh, the yolk like not too dry up and hard, like usually Chinese do. Yes, you're right. I mean. Mm. I love the saltiness of Japanese food. It's not too salty, but it's still got that flavor, you know? Yeah, although it's soupy, it's not watery at all. It doesn't mm -hmm. it taste bland at all. Flavors are all still there. Okay, so we've had the seafood soup curry, and that was delicious. Yes, but what do you think we should have next, Emmy? Oh, I think we should have this one, the right. corn omu rice curry. Sure, let's bring that. Okay, now this is from the same place uh, by Yoshimi as well. Uh, tell us a bit about how this is eaten in Japan. Oh, okay. Usually in in Japan for um, curry dishes or um, any other like rice dishes, we don't usually like use fork. So we just right. use a spoon. Okay. Yeah. So get rid of the fork, is that? Yeah. Usually for Westerners, they would use a fork and spoon, yeah. but. Um, usually for us in Japan, we only use a spoon for like, yeah, rice. Yeah, let's dig in. I really like for this curry sauce to have uh, minced meat in it. Okay, so it's not it, so... Um, the bite. How is this supposed to taste like? Salty? Spicy? No, Japanese curry is not spicy. Never spicy? Yeah, no, not spicy. But I mean, if you want to add something to make it more spicy, it's actually up to the individual, but usually when I take it, I would just, you know, have it like that. How did you find it, Emmy? Yeah, it's really nice. I really like the sauce with the bits of meat in it. Yeah, it gives the nice kind of texture to the sauce. Yes, I like this as well, but it reminded me a bit of like Indian curry. And oh, yeah. one thing about this dish is that even though it looks really small, I think two people can share it. it. It is quite filling. Yes, it is, especially for females. Yeah, yeah. like two of us were struggling already. Yes. <laughs> but it's definitely good.